Triggers in Storyline are a really easy way to make your course respond or interact with your learners. And you can create a trigger for just about anything, but in this tutorial, we're going to walk through a simple but common example of how to use triggers to reveal specific layers of a slide. So here we are in normal view, and what I've got here is a few buttons, and you can insert these by going up to the Insert tab and choosing Button. You just draw the button on your slide and type some text into it and add whatever formatting you want. I've also got a character here. You can insert a character by going to the Insert Character tool. And down here in the lower right, you can see my Slide Layers panel. And here I've got four different layers that I've created that I want to show to my learner. And I want a specific layer to appear when the learner clicks on one of my buttons. And you can, of course, put anything you want on your slide layers. Mine are super simple here. You know, they just contain a different caption that appears on each layer. Now, if you need a little help setting up buttons or layers on your slides, we do have some specific tutorials on those topics that you can take a look at. What we're going to do next in this tutorial is see how we can create some triggers that cause each of my buttons to show the appropriate layer. So over here at the right, we see a trigger panel. And you can see for each of the buttons on my slide, Storyline has assumed that we want to add a trigger to that button, right? Because you're seeing this Add Trigger option that you can click on. If you were working with some other object instead of a button that you wanted your learner to interact with, like maybe, I don't know, a circle shape or a triangle shape or maybe even a character or a text box, you could click on this Create a New Trigger button if you wanted to create a trigger for that object. And that would basically get you the same result. We're going to go ahead and just use this little shortcut here to click Add Trigger. And what's going to happen is this Trigger Wizard pops up. And I really love this tool because it just guides you right through in plain English everything that you need to choose. So first we need to pick an action. And you're going to have lots of choices for the action that you can experiment with here. But what we're going to do is show a layer. And then once you choose an action, you'll have maybe some additional options here. Like since we're showing a layer, we need to tell Storyline which layer. So we're going to choose layer 1 since we're working with button 1 right now. And we also need to specify when we want this action to happen. And in this case, again, you're going to have lots of choices. But in our example, we want the action to happen when the user clicks. And then we can click OK. And if we preview this slide, we should see that the first button here is going to reveal layer 1. And it does. So now the process of setting up triggers is really going to be the same for any trigger you create. You just tell Storyline what you want to have happen and the circumstances when it should happen. And now that we've created that first trigger, we could go back to each of these remaining buttons and follow those same steps. But here's a quicker way. We can actually copy the trigger and paste it to those buttons and then just make a couple adjustments. So I'm going to select my trigger here and then click this Copy Trigger button. Then select my re remaining buttons that I've created and then paste that trigger. And now you can see in my trigger panel that all of those buttons now have a trigger. And the only thing I need to change here is the layer that gets revealed since the trigger got copied from you know the one that reveals layer one i don't want button two to reveal layer one so i'm going to change this to layer two and for button three i'll change that to layer three and four goes to four and now if we preview this the whole slide here we should see that no matter what layer button we click on the correct layer gets revealed so there's one two three and four two three you can do it in any order and it should act the way that you expect. Now another approach to this would be, let me just switch to a different file here. Another approach is if you create one button and apply you know, a trigger or even multiple triggers to it, you can also um, do things a little bit of a different way. You can copy this button and then paste it. And then that's going, going to uh, carry along the triggers with it. And then you could adjust the triggers from there. So for example, on this layer one button, I've got a couple of triggers here that are changing the state of my character and also revealing a layer. I'm going to hold down my control and shift keys and just drag to create a duplicate. And now I just change the name on my button. And then over here in my trigger panel, I can make whatever changes I need. So I want to change this button to show layer two. And then how about for the character, let's have the state of the character be something other than talking. We'll change it to happy. So now if we preview this particular slide, we'll see layer one changes her expression. It also shows the layer. Layer two changes her expression again, and it also shows the layer. Now as far as editing triggers, you can just double click any trigger anytime and get back to that trigger wizard and change whatever you need. So that's a quick look at how to create and edit triggers in Articulate Storyline.